Go. People get tattoos for all kinds of unusual reasons and unusual designs, but how's this for you? We have, uh, have you gotten a tattoo in a biodome? Well, in a few months, you will be able to do just that in Vineville. A uh, tattoo parlor over there is moving to a building on Highway 28 East, and it looks something out of, well, something out of the future. That's where News Channel 5's Mike Magnoli checked out the details today. That's right, a tattoo parlor inside of a dome. And if it sounds like something from a science fiction novel, well, that's because the designer of these structures actually got into the business of building domes because he used to read science fiction novels as a child and still does. And the tattoo parlor owner and his wife are excited because this is going to be a safe structure during any storms. It's also going to save them a lot of money on utility bills. But rather than hear it from me, I'll let you hear it from them. What's the inside going to look like? It's going to have some very beautiful stained concrete flooring, very high ceilings, very colorful, very beautiful, very artistic. And uh, like I said, anybody that comes in, they're just going to be amazed. And it's going to be two stories. What's going to be on the second floor? The second floor is going to be one where my office is at and hers. So when people um, drive by and they see this dome, what, what do you want them to think of? What, what do you want the message to be? Well, as you look at it, this is going to be the landmark. It's the only one out there. And mo most of the thing is that I call this a safe house. Anyone is welcome anytime that we have a bad tornado or hurricane, anything that goes that direction. You know, I know that it's going to stand up because it's been proven already. This is absolutely the safest place to be in a tornado or hurricane. Uh, the wind rating on this particular kit is about 130 miles an hour sustained. We're going to beef it up a little bit with some of the things that we do. Um, I've seen them survive an F5 tornado strike, and I have photographic evidence of that on my website. And News Channel 5 will be back out here for the grand opening of this tattoo parlor and dome, hopefully in December, if the project stays on schedule. And who knows, maybe at that point, yours truly will get some ink done. This is Mike Mack.